Today on Steve Rob Reviews, well, we're going to take a look at that ice block right there. We're going to use an interesting way of figuring out how good this cooler is. This is my Pelican 30 quart um, roto molded cooler. This is the first time that I used it and uh, I was gone for four days. So I'm going to show you exactly this ice block. We're going to measure it. We're going to take a look and see if you think that this ice block, the shape that you see right here, is a good representation of how good this cooler is. So let's measure the ice block and I'm going to tell you exactly the dimensions of the ice block whoa, before I stuck it back in the freezer. So after four days, I put it back in my freezer so I could show you here today. So let's take a look right now. Well first of all, this started off with a 10 by 10 by 6 inch high ice block. And there we are right there. And what do you see there? Well, I see about nine and a half. And this way here, about eight and three quarters. And how thick is it? Well, if we just go to the thickest spot there. I would say it's about five and a quarter. So that's the block right there. Now let's put the block inside and I'll show you what it looked like when I first made the block and see how much room is in this cooler. Well there's the ice block in the cooler and I'll just take out this separator that I have and just show you. All I did here, guys, that's just a soup can and I have some of the uh, Bailey Irish creamer to put in my coffee and it fits right in there. So what I'm happening is when I'm transporting it coming back from my camp, I don't want it to tip over, right? So I just put it in that container and it stays there and it doesn't tip over, that's all. But if we take a look from the ice block to the top there is five inches and I always put this on. And that's one of the secrets of keeping your ice block last a long time. Now, me and my daughter went up to my camp and this provided ample space for both of us for four days. Okay, so now I want to show you something about this cooler that I didn't know and maybe a lot of you that have these Pelican coolers don't know, but let's take a look at something that I found pretty interesting. So here we are just looking at the front of the cooler and you have these really nice snaps that snap the cooler down really nice. Now I'm going to tell you something that I didn't know was Whenever I would go into the cooler, I would always lock it back up, right? So my daughter says to me, Dad, them locks don't do anything. They don't actually do anything at all. You can open and close this cooler all you want. This is only for transporting. So I'll give you a good zoom in look there and you tell me if you notice the same thing. So you take a good look there and you can see as I open and close these, it doesn't move nothing here. So essentially what we did after the first day after my daughter told me that, I just opened and closed it and that was it. I never you touched these latches after I put it in place. And that was it just like that. So what do you think? I mean this is the stick that I actually measure the water and it was right at the six inch mark. Now for you that haven't uh, seen my video that I made on how I make my ice blocks. Uh, I'll put a link down below and you can watch that if you want how I make the ice blocks. But overall, these ice blocks, well, I think they're the only way to go with a camping cooler. And uh, I can make them any size I want, depending on how long I'm gonna go on a particular trip. But for four days, that block was too much. I didn't need that much to go away for four days. So I found that was just incredible. You guys leave me a comment below about what you think. And I, all I can do is I can tell you that this cooler was kept inside. It was not left in the sun or anything. And the average temperature for the whole time it was in the cooler was about 72 to 75 degrees. And uh, you know, that's the best thing I could say. And how many times I'd open the cooler or about 10 times a day you know, for four days, so I mean about 40 times max, and there's a beautiful drain on the side. I only had to drain out water once, and uh, 
you know I really didn't even have to do it that but I just wanted to see how much water was in it right so this block did not actually reduce that much in four days I found it was incredible because I've been using coolers for well over 40 years and my go-to cooler was the Coleman seven day or five day I think it is Coleman extreme and just from my own experience I know for sure that the block that I put in my Coleman before is bigger than that block and after four days I would have lost a lot more ice than you know what you see here so what am I going to do with that well all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in my freezer and uh, I know for sure I can go up for four days with that no problem so I think that's just incredible so thanks for joining me here today and that was my first review of the uh, Pelican 30 quart and I'm saying this thing is just it's better than sliced bread so if you're thinking about getting one of these and you don't really mind the cost they, they are expensive right but uh, for me like this is just ideal for my needs I can make an ice block exactly today I can figure out how thick of an ice block I need for how long I'm going to go so thanks for joining me here today if you haven't seen this channel before you're welcome to subscribe and uh, I'm going to do another one in the future and see exactly how many days I can get out of one of these coolers with a seven and a half inch block. These guys come back for that now, eh? Cheers.